that causes and it goes back to the advocacy cycle where you say what is the issue, who are the stakeholders, what is the best way to engage them. Because sometimes maybe the way you, you've decided to handle it as a feature story is not even the way to go about it. And then I think when we had the World Press Freedom Day uh, commemorations here in Zimbabwe, we had the EU ambassador speaking to the fact that the fact that we are citizen journalists has actually changed the way that we should, it should actually change the way that we interact as the mainstream media. Sometimes you go into an area that already has citizen media there. How about going to interact in the networks that Chris was talking about, which I also found very um, um, helpful in this discussion, to say that there are already people circulating news, the citizens themselves are sharing news, so what is the best way to, to handle it? And then the reality, especially for us, and this is for the Zimbabwean journalists, is that the fact that we actually do not have community radio itself is a handicap for the country. And not a handicap only for the citizens who want to speak, but also for governments to actually be sharing information that is critical, that we can begin to hold them accountable to, or that we can begin to use as information around civic action, around campaign strategies, around even simple social movements within given constituencies. So I hope Selena answered you.